if you have a Belarus tractor, one of the things you might have to do every once in a while is adjust the clutch. And you'll know if it needs adjusted if you have trouble getting it into gear without it kind of just grinding just a tad. If it starts to, you know, chunk going into gear, you know, and you, you feel the gear is still spinning a little, that means your clutch needs adjusted. So let's take a look at how to do that real quick. It's not hard. So your clutch pedal, when you push down on this, it uh, moves this lever, which pulls this rod backwards, which moves your clutch release throw bearing here. So the adjustment's real easy. All you gotta do is to shorten this rod, which is probably the adjustment that you're gonna make for a, a worn, slightly worn clutch. You're gonna pull this pin out and you're gonna spin this collar to shorten this rod up and then you'll get a little bit more throw on your clutch. So let's do that. So these are held on with a standard little pin here and at least mine is. You can just pull that out, put it somewhere where you're definitely gonna lose it. And then you can take out this rusty pin here. There we go. Make sure you blow it halfway across the universe. Now the fun part of turning this, where's my penetrating oil, anywho? Just give that a good soaking, like I should have originally. And we'll move this back and forth. You can see someone has the adjustment nut here backed off already, which could be a bad sign or a good sign, I don't know. Probably a bad sign. I'm backing this off extra so that this jam nut here so that uh, I can get some lubricant under those threads when I run it forward. You want to make sure that your clutch pedal is all the way up. So there's two holes in the clutch pedal. I'm just using that to strap around the steering wheel. So clutch pedal's all the way up. Lubricant in here. Make this pin a little easier to take in and out. When you press down on the clutch, it's going to pull this backwards. We're going to tighten this a couple turns. I don't know. What we want to do is take the mushiness out of this. You can feel that's when it starts to engage the throw up bearing right there. So that's what you want to take it back to. Before the clutch pedal was a little mushy and wanted to stick down. I mean, there's a little bit of range there, but you got a nice spring back there. It's also engaging the full stop down there. That's all the way down to the floor. There's still a little bit of slop in here. And what you want to do is kind of, you want a little bit of free play there. I don't remember what the free play spec is, but you know, this is a worn-ish clutch, so it's old. So I'm going to take out a little bit more free play, I think. There. All right. Let's see what that gives us. Let's connect our pedal here. So just a little bit, a little bit of free play there where we actually disengage our clutch. Feels much better than it did before and it's not flopping around. Before, if I wanted it all the way up, I had to take out the free play with my foot. You do want a little bit of free play, but I think that'll do the trick. Let's put our jam nut here back there. 
drive our pin all the way through to put our cotter pin back in. Cotter pin, I guess it's not really called a cotter pin, but I don't know. I'm not going to get into those technicalities. So now we have a nicely adjusted clutch. And uh, next time I start her up, I'll make sure she doesn't grind gears here. So we finally have our clutch adjusted here. As you can see, it's sticking up a lot more. That's what we want, and it returns nicely. As before, it was just, you know, you had to pop it up with your foot a little bit. This is about as much free play as we want. So before, when we're shifting gears, it would, you know, kind of grind a little bit. Same with the forward and back if you didn't uh, have the clutch just right. So I'm going to start her up and give you, give you a quick demo of uh, how well it does work. good now no more gear grinding as a further note I learned something about these tractors if you have a Belarus with this engine or any of these that has the compression release on them the proper way to shut them down is not to pull the throttle back all the way the manual says actually you pull the compression release out to shut it down which nobody does uh, but I don't do it because it's easier just to pull the throttle down but so that'll wrap up this episode. I just wanted to show a quick clutch adjustment since I had to do it, and it's not hard to do. And um, you know, if your if your clutch is sticking down on the floor here and not returning, not springing back up, then that could be a problem. Or if your gears are grinding too much, you don't want that. That'll wear your transmission out. So just a quick video on that, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you do, give us a like, a subscribe. Uh, we appreciate it. it. Helps the channel grow and puts us in a good mood. And as always, thanks for watching.